Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing around with a new product that I just got my hands on. It is the new Sephora Pro palette. This is the warm version that we're going to be playing with here today. We're just going to be doing a nice little halo effect eye, something like this on this gorgeous model. Her name is Jen. Her social media info is in the link down below. So if you want to see how we got this look, go ahead and stay tuned. So as always, we're going to go ahead and prime the eyes with something to keep the eyeshadow from creasing. This is, of course, Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, one of my favorites. Um, I basically go back and forth between this and Painterly a lot for most of my women from the land of Caucasia. So we're just laying this down with a flat, uh, flat shadow brush here. Next, we're going to go in with this first shade. This is Sand, again, from that warm version of the Sephora Pro palette. And we're just going to take this on a MAC 239, just kind of pat it all over the lid, just really focusing it in the center, trying to build up that intensity as much as possible. Next, we're going to go with this next shade here. This is Sandstone. It's just this really nice kind of super warm mid-tone brown, almost orangey brown. I'm just taking this on a MAC 217, and I'm just going to really start focusing that on the outer corner in these circular motions, and then move on to the inside of the eye and really start shading in the inner corner. This is basically going to act as a transition color for us, so we're just going to keep blending that out, making sure it's nice and big so we can focus a darker color on top of it. And now we're going to swap up to something just a little bit smaller. This is a Sigma E32. It's a little shorter, a little more compact, so you get a little more intense color. And we're going to use that shade at the bottom. It's called Burnt Umber. It's just this really, really nice kind of chocolatey brown. And we're just blending this again over the same areas that we took that first shade, but we're going to keep it a little bit smaller and really kind of focus on building up that intensity. Next, we're going to go back in with that MAC 217 again, again with that sandstone color, and really just kind of blend everything out, make sure everything's nice and diffused and there are no harsh lines. And then we're going to go back in with a MAC 239, and we're going to go back in with that sand color again, just to really kind of re-intensify the center of the lid. And with the fresh 239, we're going to go across the bottom there with that shade Brick. It's just this really nice kind of frosty burgundy shade that we're just going to take and kind of smoke out that lower lash line. And then we're going to swap up for a 219 and we're going to go in with the shade bronze just to kind of punch up a little gold gold moment in the corner there. And then we're going to go ahead and line that lower waterline. This is Feline. It's the Feline pencil by MAC, one of my all-time favorite black pencils. I use it on just about everybody. And we're just going right in between those lashes, trying to smudge everything out, going back in with that 239, trying to help kind of just build up that intensity right on that waterline there. And you can pick up a little extra product from the pencil like so just to kind of blend everything out a little more. Next, we're going to go in with just a good old-fashioned gel liner. This is the NYX gel liner on just this little Sigma angled brush here. And we're just going to start really, really close to those lashes, kind of building up this line. We're going to do a really nice kind of winged cat liner. But first, we're going to focus on really getting everything in the lashes. And then I'm going to have her look straight ahead to kind of get the positioning on that wing just right. And then have her close and then connect that onto the liner that we did before. And then, of course, with this look, we're going to need lots of mascara. This is my Holy Grail Mascara's Dior Show. Good old-fashioned Dior Show. This is the waterproof cold black version. Um, I've been really liking this one a lot recently. I use this on a lot of my brides as well. And then we're just going to go in with some good old-fashioned Ardell Demi Wispies just to get some nice intensity on top and then finish off with a nice coat of mascara on those bottom lashes. Next, we're going to be playing with this new little goodie I got my hands on today. It's this Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. Um, I really have, I've got mixed opinions on it, but it blends really nicely, because it, but it is kind of on the fluffy side. And I'm just going in with my trusty Rusty MAC Face and Body Foundation, and then going in with a little bit of Studio Finish Concealer. And this is just on a Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush here. Just going in under the eyes. I don't want anything too intense as far as an under eye highlight goes, but this this is just going to help kind of lift that under eye shadow. 
And then we're just going to blend that all out again with that 3D HD Kabuki. I do like the way this fits under the eyes. I do, however, wish that there was a smaller version of this brush that was still nice and fluffy, but would fit the contours of the face a little better. And then we're going in with this NYX No Filter. It's basically just a really nice mineral setting powder. Um, I'm just an angle contour brush here, and we're just going to go through and kind of set the face, make sure nothing's moving on us, mattify a little bit. And then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium Contour Palette. Um, I'm using that middle shade there and a MAC 137 just to kind of warm up the face a little bit and give her a little bit of a contour. And for blush, we're using MAC. This is MAC's Melba blush on that exact same brush just to kind of warm up the cheeks a little bit. I found this color works really well with that eye look that we did. Now we're just going to go in with MAC's Boldly Bare Lip Liner and really kind of focus on etching out the shape of that lip. And then we're going to fill it in just a little bit to act as kind of a base for the lipstick that we're going to apply on top. And then, of course, because I'm special and totally skipped over brows, we're going to skip up top and go in with, this is the Fling Eyebrow Pencil by MAC. Again, one of my favorites. Really just kind of focusing on emphasizing that shape. And then I'm just going to go over the top with some clear brow set. This is by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, one of my favorite brow gels. Just really kind of helps hold everything in place and sculpt the brow a little bit more. And then to finish out those lips, this is Pure Zen. This is actually a custom lip palette that I made myself um, that I carry around on most of my jobs because it has just about every color I could ever need. But this is just a really nice kind of warm tone nude. And then I'm going to go ha go ahead and set everything. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. It's been one of my favorites recently. It really helps kind of make sure everything lasts all day long, but it doesn't over mattify or get too heavy on the skin. And this is the final look. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. While you're down there, go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button, and I will see all of you guys again later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.